It is almost my favorite time of the year. I love October as it finally starts to cool down here in Arizona. And since it's almost Halloween, please let me know if you have any suggestions on what you would like me to cover this month. And also, I have some new hoodie designs as winter is right around the corner. The link to my store will be in the description below. Now over the past couple of years, I have stumbled upon a lot of articles about eyewitnesses swearing that they had seen the Loch Ness Monster. And it seems to me that these sightings are increasing every year, which would make sense if in fact there is a Loch Ness Monster, as there are more and more people going here every year. Now a couple of weeks ago I stumbled upon an interesting article about a huge sonar hit in the loch. In August of this year a family on vacation were out on the lake on their boat enjoying a nice summer day when a man noticed something he had never seen before on his sonar. He saw an image of a mysterious object that was about 60 feet long and it was moving right under their boat. This man was shocked he had never seen anything like this before. Now one of the best theories about the Loch Ness Monster is that it's a large sturgeon. And in one of my last videos about the Loch Ness Monster, I learned that still to this day, nobody has ever found a sturgeon in this lake. But this lake is connected to the ocean, so some believe that maybe from time to time, a large sturgeon makes its way into the lake, which is a great theory. But an Atlantic sturgeon only grows to about 16 feet, which is large, but not nearly as big as a lot of these sonar hits or eyewitness sightings. Now people believe that if the Loch Ness Monster is real, then would probably be some sort of pleosaur, as this is what eyewitnesses basically describe seeing. And we do have a lot of documented sonar hits, anywhere from 20 to 60 feet in length, and there is nothing in these waters that we know of that can grow that big. So, it is a big mystery. And one thing that I find fascinating is that there are dozens of lake monsters throughout the world, which eyewitnesses also said that it looked like a pleosaur. Interesting indeed. Now, maybe these creatures live in the hollow earth and these lakes are connected by huge cave systems. You never know. Now, I agree that it is odd how there could be so many sightings and so little actual evidence, considering today most people have smartphones in their pocket. But sometimes things happen so quick that people didn't have enough time to capture it on camera or they were so shocked by what they were seeing, they didn't even think about taking a picture. But we do have some interesting photos that might help us explain what these people are really seeing. Now sadly, most of the photos that we know have turned out to be fakes. But while I was researching this video, I stumbled upon a great article that shows what they believe to be the best real photos that we have of the Loch Ness Monster. This footage right here was captured last week. A man was flying a drone over Loch Ness when he captured this. And as of yet, I don't think anybody has proven that this is fake. It is interesting footage. Now scientists as well as most people don't really think that there's an actual living breathing pleosaur that lives in the loch. But there is a mystery here as how could there be so many eyewitnesses throughout the years who truly believe that they saw something unknown. Something big that they can't identify. And we also have all these sonar hits that clearly show that there was something huge swimming in the loch. Another story I want to cover today happened in South America when a woman uploaded a video on her Instagram of a very strange looking creature. This woman stated that she was night surfing in Panama when she saw something that she couldn't explain. Now this video was viewed more than 25 million times and when I saw it I thought to myself that this has to be fake.
Now it turns out that this is probably real, but it's not an unknown animal, but a dead body of a howler monkey. But this is still not confirmed. And strangely, there was another creature found in Panama that has come to be known as the Panama creature. But they say that it was nothing more than a hairless sloth. But now I'm wondering, since these two creatures do look alike and come from the same region makes me wonder, what if they are something else? Until next time, this is Paranormal Junkie. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned.